There were dozens of products launched at IFA 2011 this year, but we thought we'd pick out some of our favourites just for you. And coming in at number five is the LG LW980 Nano Full LED TV. This 72-inch TV really caught our eyes. Not only does the TV itself look stunning, the pictures produced by the 2,300 LEDs that power the display were spectacular. This is also a passive 3D TV, which means the glasses are really really cheap so you can buy dozens and share them with your friends and watch 3D films together. Wi-Fi is also included and we continue to be very impressed with LG's smart TV interface. Just sneaking in front at number four is the Toshiba ZL2. The Toshiba ZL2 is Toshiba's landmark TV because it is the very first glasses free 3D TV to ever be launched commercially, although it's going to come with a massive price tag of £8,000. It's got loads of impressive sounding specs, including a quad HD resolution. That's four times the full HD resolution you get on most normal TVs. Although truth be told, the difference between quad HD and full HD wasn't particularly evident from the showreel that we saw. That said, we were really impressed with the glasses free 3D effect. And although it's probably not ready for prime time just yet, it's a really exciting example of what we could be getting in a few years time. Our only tablet comes in at number 3, the Samsung Galaxy Tab 7.7. It's got a dual-core 1.4GHz processor, but that's not the really interesting bit. What's interesting is this tablet weighs just 335 grams and measures just 7.8mm thick with a 10-hour battery life. It's also got an incredible Super AMOLED screen, which is very, very bright, very colourful and has outstanding viewing angles. If it's anything like the 10.1 tablet, it should be a really, really great product. It's another Samsung product at number 2, the Series 7 Kronos laptop. The main selling point of this laptop is that unlike other consumer laptops it comes with a matte screen and a very good looking one too, yet despite its premium aluminium design it's going to cost only around £800 and it'll also be coming with two hard drives, a larger hard drive for your data and an 8GB SSD which will be used to improve the performance and particularly the boot speeds of this particular laptop. But coming out on top is the Sony NEX7. Why? Because despite this camera having a very compact body, it boasts incredible specs. It's got a 24.3 megapixel sensor, a tilting screen and great manual controls. But its standout feature was the OLED viewfinder, which produced fantastic colours and shows the full frame of the photo you're trying to line up. So whether you use the LCD or the viewfinder, you always see exactly what you're going to shoot. To share your views on what you thought the best product of EFA 2011 was and vote in our poll, head over to our website at witch.co.uk forward slash techdaily.